Kanong Aiktien ke Kongres, ke Onika Merotra, Klabu Cingkeli ke Sorkar NDA, Belam Kemat ke BHP, Halau ke Cing Selamban mencuri ke Women's Reservation Bill, kata Hadu Kandai Senam Syeteng. Kadi kena ngalam ke Kongres ke Laong, bahawa baca ke Cing Cia Syatombori, kentai kena ke BHP hi kam cukran ni ay. Henry mentapat belacan ke election, kikro i kentai. Kalau ang bayi kan ke bel lawan rakyat Kongres, nado kisnem bolong menteri rong bahadu Rajiv Gandhi, bat dancing temu ban kentiwe ke bor, bat kebahagiaan yang cungki longkwe, dak bayi simenta kesenjar kadar, dak bayi bah kerpang ban mikmat, hagi yang darwar thau anggi jela, bat parlimen ruk kumjo. Women are the major, I I can say they put in the major input in the economy of the country, and if they are empowered, I think the whole economy runs in a better format. And uh, we feel we see a more flourished uh, society. Nevertheless, it all began in 1989 when uh, Rajiv Ji, of course, uh, uh, came up with the 33 reservation, and it was followed up by uh, our uh, PM uh, PV Narishma Rao Ji. And then, uh, when uh, 33 reservation was given, and then in 2010, when Sonaji and uh, our Dr. Manmohan Singh. Uh, were in power and Dr. Manmohan Singh's cabinet came up with a women reservation bill. It was passed in the Rajya Sabha and uh, in the Lok Sabha the consensus was not made and unfortunately it uh, could not get cleared. Over the years the party kept on writing to the present regime as to uh, the bill should be passed as it's already passed in the Rajya Sabha and uh, Bharati Janta Party, as you know, made tall claims. They said, Bahut hua mahilao pe atya jar ab ki bar. Then they said, Beti bar chao, beti padhao. All those slogans came in from them. And, uh, well, we felt that the Bharati Janta Party should live up to what they have said. Uh, Madam Sonia wrote to uh, the Prime Minister, 2016, 2017, there were continuous correspondence from uh, the Congress party to uh, uh, you know, put pressure on the present regime to get the bill cleared. But nothing came uh, by far till the last lap after nine and a half years. And as you have seen, the nomenclature has been changed and a lot of glorification has been done on the Women Reservation Bill. And the bill is passed. We are um, obviously very happy that women are going to get the reservation. But the ifs and buts in the bill, if you have seen the fine prints of the bill, I'm sure as uh, reporters you must have read the bill, the clause that they are put in are two very dangerous clauses which cannot be fulfilled in the present coming uh, General Assembly, General Election 2024. It has the clause of delimitation, it has the a part of census that until those two things are cleared, the bill cannot be, you know, actually the women cannot get the power to contest. So the whole idea behind this is defeated. A, you have come after nine and a half years. Why may I ask? What, why were you not interested in clearing it in the first shot? You spoke out women reservation and you claim that, and it's a fact that majorly women have, uh, you know, voted for the Bharati in the party. And when you see that the women have voted for you, what was the delay? Why didn't you do it in the first go? You had the, uh, both the uh, authority and the numbers. Then why did you delay it? And then when you came up, you came up with a special session. And Helter Skelter, you just came up with a bill. It was not even discussed with the other parties. Didn't even go to the standing committee. But it was cleared. We stand by the bill. We said that we stand by the bill. But these two things, uh, in a way, is a hurdle to uh, ensure that the women get the reservation. So that's why we are here. We want to speak to the media and, and ensure that this goes uh, you know, rightly to the uh, women community. Because you see, when, when the Bharati Janata Party has realized that election around the corner, a jumla is there. They are very, they are mastermind in creating such kind of jumlas, but this hasn't gone well with the women. They have realized that you just Say for uh, say things for the sake of saying it and not doing it actually. This bill, because of the cap in the census, will cannot be done before 2026, and then the delimitation and then the census. So it's a it's a long passage still for the bill to be cleared. 
so uh, this is kind of a jumla and we don't want the women of this and bharatiya janata party thinks that you can they can fool the people of the country on and on they have done it in 2014 and they are consecutive year now again so the narrative of the whole election is what they are working around but they fail to understand that by giving 200 off in the um, cylinder gas cylinder they think they have done charity on the women no they have not it was not well taken by the women again they knew very well that if they do not come up with anything concrete for the women they will lose their women voters be it unemployment be it the price rise be it crime against women everything it is just hey why so i think everybody is so sick and tired of the present regime that uh, they were it's absolutely sure that the debacle is very near and this is what has caused them to come up with the bill so it should not be an eye wash activity it should have been very concrete it should have been implemented right away and this is what the congress party demanded uh, as per as the implementation is concerned there were few question raised by uh, the congress as to why it took us so took them so long uh, nine and a half years uh, to actually get the bill knowing very well that, that they could have cleared it so i feel and you all feel that it's a post dated check which has gone to a failed bank which will never be in cashed so the need of the r is that the congress party wants that the bill should be impl- implemented immediately because once it's cleared in the rajya sabha it uh, it doesn't lapse it can be taken up in the same manner and to be cleared if not if you're not interested in doing right now then if you are doing census there should be a caste census also as rahul ji said that this is how we we'll know how many what uh, is the division of the people of this country here accordingly their right should be given everybody has the right to be a part um, of empowerment so that uh, should be implemented and uh, i think uh, it is a huge betrayal of the hopes of millions of uh, women in this country 50% of this population uh, have uh, has always been deprived and by doing this i think they have curtailed their future ahead so this is the whole uh, scenario and uh, i think because of the debacle that they think they are going to face which is a uh, fact in fact when you go and speak to the common people anywhere <coughs> in the entire country uh, they uh, are not in favor of bharatiya janata party because they know what they've been doing either you, they use them uh, machinery to dampen somebody or something or the other or come up with a narrative you have heard that uh, story na that kaat ki handi bar bar nahi chalti every time you cannot keep baking it in the same dish so it's a stale uh, concept that uh, bharatiya janata party has done this time and they have fallen flat on this issue and we the women of this country we the congress party we stand by the women and we uh, felt that if it's if they have come up if the intent if the intent was sincere if the vision was clear they should have done it right away there was no need for any further delays as you know 2021 there should have been a census but because of covid our country couldn't do it whereas the in g20 most of the countries have done it except india so these delays uh, an undue unwarranted delays by the bharatiya janata party goes to say that they are just not serious on this issue so that is uh, the whole idea of talking to you and bringing out uh, the pointers the fine prints of the bill which the bjp thinks that they can go ahead and you know speak and lure the women of this country i think they are sadly mistaken the women of the country are not fools they understand the logic and the purpose behind it once you know they, they said uh, you know 15 lakh aayenge aapke account mein all right we felt the jumla at least i have not got maybe you have got it okay we accept as a jumla then two crores jobs so the concept went on and on when they can they came up with the farmers bill the three black kanun uh, that to withdraw but they came up with it at midnight they come and uh, declare the gst so they, if they can do all those things i can pass all those laws why did why couldn't they pass the women reservation bill just changing the nomenclature to nari shakti vandan adhiniyam i think the purpose is not achieved